questions. Okay, so this is the first uh, of the question that we'll go over. And this is a demonstration of what we call um, word problem. It's uh, got this long paragraph. <laughs> what you have to do is read through it, figure out what they are looking for, and try to answer it. And what I like to do when I'm um, trying to figure out physics questions is basically doodle. So it says, in a tug of war game on one campus, it says, uh, 15 students pull on a rope at both ends. Okay, I need a rope. Uh, well, that's in the middle. I need a rope. It says 15 students at both ends. So I guess there might be more. Okay, um, I need to, so well, let me keep an eye there. At both ends in an effort to displace the central knot, which I drawn for, to one side or the other. Two students pull with the force 196 Newton, each to the right. Okay, let me just indicate that. So one pulling to the right, another pulling to the right. And both of them are uh, 196 Newton each. Four students pull with the force 104 Newton each to the left. Okay. So one, two, three, four. I'm just doodling. There's no real rule on how you doodle. The main thing is I want to make sure I capture all the information that's given in the question. 104 Newton. And this is one of those things where if you're doing a timed assessment, uh, you should be careful because you could <laughs> waste a lot of time doodling. But on a homework, this is the place where you are not in any time pressure. You just make sure you are not skipping steps. Five students pull with the force 62 Newton each to the left. Okay. So two more here. So 62. And when I'm drawing, I try to make sure that um, if I'm drawing arrows, they kind of match with the, how things are. So I don't draw 62 Newton arrow bigger than 104 Newton. I try to make sure my drawing makes some sense. Um, wait, it says, sorry, why did I read the two? Five students. Okay, yeah, this is why I like to draw to make sure I didn't misunderstand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, 16 each to the left. Three students pull with a force 150 Newton each to the right. Okay. Um, I guess I'll use black again. Uh, three students. One, two, yep. One, two, three, and one, yeah. Yeah. 150 Newton each. To the right, and one student pulls with the force 250 Newton to the left. All right, one student with the 250 Newton to the left. Assuming the positive direction is to the right, express the net pull on the knot in terms of the unit vector. Um, how big is the net pull on the knot? In what direction? Okay, I think I captured all. Um, so let me just count to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, I didn't misread any numbers. Okay, good. And I think once you've drawn a picture like this, you kind of have an intuitive sense of how you should work out the answer. You got um, this much force pulling it to the right, this much force pulling it to the left. So you write out the uh, how much force is pulling to the right minus how much force is pulling to the left. So it should look like uh, two people, uh, so two times 196 Newton to the right plus three people times 150 Newton again to the right. So that's the pull in the positive direction and you subtract all the pulls in the negative direction. So I got four people pulling with 104 Newtons. Oops. Uh, 104 Newtons plus, I'm gonna just subtract all together. And then five people <laughs> pulling with 62 Newtons, still to the left, same direction. And then uh, one person, so one times uh, 250 Newtons to the left. So yeah, once you kind of read the question, 
make a sense of all that, then the rest is just a calculator question. So I have, oops, that's too big. Um, so I'm going to just enter parenthesis, 2 times 196 Newton plus 3 times 150 Newton, parenthesis closed, minus parenthesis open, 4 times 104 Newton plus 5 times 62 Newton plus 250 Newton. Uh, make sure input looks right. And you should always be reasonably familiar with the, um, reasonably familiar with the, the, the calculators that you are using. Um, and I think in one of the recorded videos, I demonstrate Wolfram Alpha, which is a good calculator to use. If you, you are getting some errors and you feel like it might be a calculator error, then Wolfram Alpha gives you a more intuitive in, or it gives you an interface that's usually better than a lot of scientific calculators. So, okay, so um, the answer I get here is minus 134 newtons. But you do have to be a little bit careful when you are entering it. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So if I enter here, minus 134 newton, then it'll say that it's wrong. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> um, so in this question, we are asking for directions separately. And um, this is one of those cases where uh, this is how I feel about it. And that's why these questions are coded this way. If you're indicating the direction in one way, I don't think you should indicate a direction another way a second time. It's like a double negative. It's confusing. It's, it's so when I say minus 134 Newton to the left, did I really mean 134 Newton to the right? I don't think people should do it that way. So when a portion of the question gives you a way to indicate direction separately, then the numerical portion, you should treat that as a magnitude. So that so all I'm looking for here is the absolute value. So it should be 134 Newton, just positive, the magnitude, the length. To the, um, and the, to the left already indicates the direction. Now, you will see some questions where um, the question doesn't give you a separate way to indicate direction. And sometimes the questions will tell you how to use the sign plus or minus to indicate direction. Or sometimes they will just leave it implied, like they ask you for velocity, which means you should include direction. And I guess one upside here is that uh, we give you practically infinite number of tries, one or hundred tries, which is practically infinite. So uh, you know you answer it up one way and it's wrong, and you suspect it might have something to do with the indicating direction. Then you can try different ways of indicating direction. So um, yeah. Okay, so that's probably longer <laughs> of an explanation than it need to be. But I want you to make sure that I go through this. Um, Go through this the way that I would go through if I'm looking at this for the first time. I haven't seen this exact question five times previously, and I'm just taking my sweet time. That's how I would do it.